Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome once again to Abinasia's Recipes. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're a new subscriber, thank you and welcome to the family. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you my favorite and delicious corned beef jollof rice. Let's get started. I have about eight cups of rice here. I have red onion, green bell peppers, fresh tomatoes, tomato paste. Also have my garlic, habanero pepper, and fresh rosemary. One jalapeno pepper, two canned corned beef, chicken seasoning and salt, curry powder, nutmeg, bay leaf, and thyme, ginger, and I have my canola oil. In a blender, I'll be adding my fresh tomato as my base liquid to blend all of my vegetables. I've added in my garlic, habanero pepper, and fresh rosemary, and then I'll blend. Once it is smoothly blend, I'll add in my uh, green bell peppers, red onions, and my thyme, and then we blend. I'll then add in two cups of my canola oil to my pot, and we'll wait till the oil is very hot before adding in our corned beef. We'll then make sure to break the corned beef into small pieces and then give it a stir. And without wasting time, we'll add in our red onion and our jalapeno peppers, which I cut up. And then we'll give it a stir. You can also make this recipe any order of your choice or however you want to start it. It's totally fine. I've actually tried this way and it is really delicious. I'll add in my nutmeg and my curry powder and give it a stir. All right, and then we'll go ahead and add in our blended up vegetables right into our sauce or our corned beef and then we will give it a mix okay and then it looks like the oil is not enough in the stew all right so as the stew begins to cook down the oil will also begin to settle on top of the stew so my oil is totally okay if you prefer to add more oil go right ahead and do so but two cups of oil is actually perfect for this recipe. I'll then go ahead and give it a stir. And please make sure the bottom of the pot doesn't burn. All right, we'll add in our tomato paste and give it a stir as well. I have a few different ways of making jollof rice. Sometimes I would uh, cook my tomato paste in the oil before adding my blended vegetables. But today we are doing it different. All right, we'll give it a stir and make sure that everything is well mixed in. And then we add in our amazing bay leaf. Guys, bay leaf is really healthy for us. Let's cook with it. All right, we've covered and then we will be checking very soon to see how the stew is doing. And as you can see, the oil is beginning to settle on top of the stew. All right, our stew is not done yet. So we'll add in our chicken seasoning, two tablespoons of chicken seasoning, and then we'll give it a stir. This stew is coming together very well. We've covered to let it cook for about five minutes and you want to check this every five minutes. All right, guys, we'll give it a stir again. And as you can see, the stew is pretty much looking good and it's, it is almost done. As you begin to see a lot more of the oil settle on top of the stew, that indicates that the stew is cooked very well. All right, guys, so our stew is done, it's cooked to perfection. So I'll then go ahead and wash my rice and add it straight to the stew. All right, and I have eight cups of rice right here for this recipe. All right, and then we will mix it very well and then we'll leave it in the pot to kind of toast a little bit or for the stew to kind of soak 
in together with the rice so that everything cooks very well. And we will not be cooking this rice with chicken sack or any beef broth. We'll just be adding water to it. So if you like to use less rice, you could do six cups of rice for this recipe as well. But I did eight cups of rice. It was totally fine. So I'm first adding um, six and a half cups of water and then I'll give it a stir. And after giving it a stir, that will indicate or um, I would know if I need to add uh, more water. Okay, and then we've added our salt and our salt was one tablespoon of salt. And then I'm giving it a stir. And the salt is always to your taste. All right, so now it is good. So I've covered to let it cook just for five minutes before we check and give it a mix. All right, so as you can see, I'm using a fork to mix or to stir my jollof rice. Um, I recommend you use fork at this point because if you're not careful, your rice can break into small pieces. All right, so I went ahead and put on my parchment paper to let the rice cook for about 10 minutes. And at this point, make sure to lower your stove or your gas so that your rice doesn't burn, guys. It's been about 10 minutes now and we are checking our jollof rice and giving it a mix. All right, so our jollof rice is literally almost cooked. It is not completely done yet, but we'll give it a mix at this time and then we will cover again and let it cook for another five to 10 more minutes. As you can see, there is moisture in the rice and we wanna make sure that all the moisture dries out very well. All right, so our jollof is covered again and we'll just let it go for about five to seven more minutes. And guys, our jollof rice is done. It is ready, it is delicious. And we are giving it a final, final mix or stir. And as you can see, I love making my jollof rice in the oven, but today I wanted to make it on the stove today. And it is delicious and perfect, guys. Oh, I hope you try this recipe at home. And you know, I like to always show you my plate. And guys, I present to you my jollof plate <laughs> delicious and amazing amazing recipe guys and you know i like my greens i have a little bit cucumber a little bit of pepper some sweet plantains and my chicken on the side as well guys thank you so much for tuning in thank you for your support please subscribe like comment and hit that notification so anytime I upload a video, you will be notified. Thank you. God bless you and stay safe. Bye-bye.